Today's video from Sam 4 sl we're taking a look at how to operate the NR500 series registers with the drawer open. In this video I'm using the retail version, the 510RB. Um, if you've got one with a flat keyboard, you can still follow this video. Um, as long as it's from the 500 series, the process will be identical. So as standard on the machine, if you're in the register mode, process and sales transactions, if you leave the drawer open and try and process a second sale, then you get the draw warning error and you can only re-enter a new sale when you close the drawer. Um, if you're finding that irritating, maybe because you're doing so many sales one after the other, then you can set the machine to um, work with the drawer open. Uh, I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, all you need is the metal key marked P and you need to turn it around to the PGM position. You then select line 4, which is options, cash to enter and then cash again to go into system. All the draw settings are on lines 8 to 10. So you press 8 and that takes you directly to draw must be shut to sale. That's defaulted to yes. So you press cash, arrow down, cash again will save it. So that's set to no. Um, what you have still got on the machine is the alarm. So um, the alarm is will still activate after a certain period of time. So you can deactivate the alarm as well. Um, but I'd probably recommend against doing that because it's useful um, to still have the alarm in place in case you leave the drawer open too long. So you can adjust the drawer time here, which is standard, is set to 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, so once you're happy with your settings, clear. Clear again until program mode is displayed on the top of the screen. Then safe to turn the key back round to register mode. And then the next sale we process. If we open the drawer for that sale, don't close it again. It'll till will keep letting us uh, fire transactions through. Eventually, because I've left the alarm on and I think I left it set to 30 seconds, the drawer alarm will come back on. Um, if you decide that's a feature you don't want, then you can go back into the same bit of programming that I just entered. Um, to change that or adjust the timer for even longer. Um, so there it is, yeah, that must have been 30 seconds. You should still get that draw error. It's up to you whether you use that or not. So say, for example, if you didn't want that anymore, background to PGM, line four, straight into system, and then it was around line eight. So you can either totally deactivate the alarm, activate open drawer alarm, you can totally deactivate it by changing that to no. I'm going to leave mine on, but I'll show you how to adjust the time. So this is the delay on the alarm, so you can have it from 0 to 99. So just type in the time you want in seconds, cash to save, clear, clear, and then key back to reg. Okay, hope that video has been helpful. We've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500 series, which you're welcome to check out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.